Buenas noches, Mario. Buenas noches, Jorge. ¿Qué tal? Baruch Hashem, bien, aquí, haciendo, deshaciendo, pensando en qué quiero usar para el ceder, qué quiero hablar. Oh, va a hablar. Oh, te, te, yo soy el que dirijo el ceder. Yo siempre dejo a mis nietas que hablen. Eso es buena idea, pero los míos son demasiado chiquitos. Oh, ok. No, las mías son grandes. Oh, Mr. Alange. Did you get a little rain today? A little bit. A little bit, okay. Yeah. I see you. Yeah, I see you dry, as long as you dry it up for this year, right? That's true. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah, get a rain. Is it rain tomorrow morning too? No, tonight. Oh, just tonight, okay. Okay, yeah. good. That's good. All right. Oh, well, Mr. Ken is here. Oh. We got how many more? We got two more. We'll finish by Shabbos. We'll finish by the Shakta by Shabbos. No, we we finish tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day, yeah. Oh, tomorrow, yeah. Oh wow. Then we start uh Friday. Well Sorry. we're not because we're gonna hold Sota. Off. Sota. Sota, yeah. Okay. That's good. Should be interesting, Ms. Echte. <laughs> so, well, I, as far as I remember, it was interesting. <laughs> it was interesting? Mm hmm It was interesting, yeah. Okay. I wonder if, if the bezel was working today, I wonder if we'd be very busy with it. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah. Ah. No. Harold, go me. <laughs> He's going to pop up any second. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you're see. in pur you're in purple today, buddy. Uh, yeah, sure. Purple. The picture behind you, I'm getting a purple vibe. <laughs> purple rain. Yeah. Oh, my childhood. Oh. Hi, Ernie. Hi, Ernie. Tomorrow we're going to be finishing Masech the Nazir. And we'll be starting Masech the Sota on Friday. Yep. So tomorrow we'll learn at uh, 7.30. Okay. So we're on the Mishnah. Samech Dalad Omid Bey is on the bottom. Hamotze meis batchila. You're digging in a field and you find a corpse buried. 
Mushkav Kedarko. The Gemara will explain what that means. That means lying in a way that Jews are buried. We'll see, not sitting up. So if you have a fixed cemetery, you're not allowed to move a cemetery. But if it's an individual mace, it could be that the person died suddenly. They buried him there, but the intent was to move him. So the din is, you can take the, the individual corpse, means the dirt around it. We'll see how much. Period. If you find two dead people near each other like this, that's okay. Noitland as Fusasso. You can take them and re and rebury them somewhere else and take the dirt around them. Matzah Shlosha. So if you find three in Yesh Bain Zelazem Arab Amas Vajmona, and there's four to eight Amas in between the buried bodies, and that's the way a Jewish cemetery would be, Areza Shunas Kvuros. So that's a, a Jewish cemetery. And you would not be able to move the three. Boide kemenu ulaholon, esri mamo. They check within a 20 amas radius. And motza echa besof esri mamo. So that is also part of the cemetery. Then boide kemenu ulaholon esri mamo. Now reglayim ledover. You have evidence that these individual ones are part of the cemetery. But if you had stumbled upon these very bodies initially, you would have been able to remove them. Period. Meaning, if you knew for sure that there was a, a person buried there, You don't have to worry about a base of Kvaros if there's three. And Mace Prat Laharuk. Let's say you find that he was killed. His head was chopped off or legs were chopped off. So he was buried where he was killed. And it's not a cemetery. Mushkev Prat Yoshe. Jews are buried lying down. Goyim are buried sitting. It's not a, a mini Yisrael to bury city. Kedarko prot l'sharosha munach ben yerkasosa. Goyim would bury people with their heads between their legs. So that would not necessarily be a kvuras Yisrael. Tani ula barchanin ameis shachoser ein l'tfusa. Ameis that's missing parts of his body, you don't take dirt around it. And it does. If you find other mason around him, it's not considered a loshchunas kvaros. It's not going to be considered an, a cemetery. We can't move. Kolani my time alone. I'm reading until you. In all the cases we just brought, why don't we? Uh, why don't we consider them a Jewish? Because. Uh, it's a goy. Jews aren't buried this way. If you find somebody, two bodies, the head next to the feet, so it's not considered a Jewish cemetery because Jewish cemeteries bury everybody in the same direction. Now, Matzah Shloisha, Ha'echad Yadu Oshnaim Tchila, one of them was known to be buried there. Now, these other two you just found. Oshnaim Tchila, Oshnaim Yaduim. So again, these are simonim that it's not a Shkunas Kvaros, it's not a cemetery. Ve'lem, Ma'isab Rab Yishev of Shabbatik, Matzah Shnaim Yaduim Ve'echad Tchila. He found two people known to be buried there, and one a new person. He wanted to declare the Jewish cemetery. 
You didn't study properly. Either we know that there were three people buried there, or you find three people. But in any other case, it's not considered a Jewish cemetery. Then the Mishnah said, you, you take dirt around them. How much dirt? For Surah, how do you know that you need to take some of the dirt? Because Yaakov commanded his son, I mean, don't just take my body, but take some of Mitzrayim with me. In some of the dirt around me. Kamashir Tfusa, Perish Rabbi Lazar, Noitil offer Tichuach. You take any moist or soft dirt that's near the mace. Maybe some of the blood or the moisture of the body seeped into the dirt there. The Choifer Bipsula Sholash is both. And then any virgin ground that's never been worked that's around the mace, you take three finger breaths because blood is not gonna seep more than that. Mace, Kamashir Tfusa, Perish Rabbalos Rabbatonic, Noitilas Akismin Vesaksosos. You take splinters of wood that are near the body because maybe it was part of his coffin. Vesaksosos, that's sort of clogs of dirt that some of the blood or the moisture of the mace went into them. The Zorikas of Adoin, things that we know for sure are not part of the mace, like stones, we get rid of. Anything that's a suffix, so we take with the mace. This is about Chavra Kedisha when they unbury a mace to rebury him somewhere. The Hashar, Anything that looks like it's part of the maze, mitzraf the rov binyonishal maze, adds to the either the rov binyan or the roiva hakava tzamois or the malei tarved rakif or a spoonful full of full of dust. All of this will be mitzarif linyan tumah. So this measure is it differently than the other statement made? So the more says who do amar kiaitano. Rav Lazar said. He's obviously relying on the following time at the time of the Kamishir Tfusa. You take the moist dirt around the maze. The and the virgin untilled dirt, you dig three heads both three finger breaths worth, and that's what you take. Amarava. Badakupina, Badakupina. Person dug, and they found a maze. And then you moved him. You checked near him and you found another maze. And then you moved him. Now you found a third maze. You don't move that maze to the other two that you reburied. And you don't bring the other two back. Once you moved him, you're not supposed to move him back. Since they took the permission to move the first and the second that they found, because they were allowed to do it. So alone, you can take the third as well. Well, how could you do it? I thought you taught me in the Mishnah that this is now a Jewish cemetery and the third one should not be moved. And maybe the whole area shouldn't be moved. This is a kula. We're talking about Eretz Yisrael. And it's only one mace. So we're makel. And otherwise, we add tumma to Eretz Yisrael. So meet Safek, we don't add tumma to Eretz Yisrael. Yeah, it seems like uh, you know, that, that tumma is a very serious thing. And that Susie, they... there's somebody on the door. Why not? Well, what is it? 
-hmm. Yes, they have. We have we've had this before. Right. That, that you want to be retired to, to yeah. reduce the potential tumor of Eretz Yisrael. But if you, so found, you take the, if you found all three at one time, you wouldn't be able to do it. Exactly. But That's even like when you yeah. when you take the two bodies out, you're adding tumor to Eretz Yisrael because we're not letting you put them back in the basic of Yeah. Yeah, but you you no, put you, in the, you put, creating put a new quote, maybe you new, put them in a new cemetery. Which is already put, you you put them in another cemetery. Not you're not cemetery. adding tumor. That cemetery is already tumor. Exactly. You, you no. just matahe the place where they were buried by exactly. mistake or something. What's the story? Huh? Exactly. Okay. We, we said that once you found three mesim, you march off 20 amis and you, dig, and you look around there. Let's say you didn't find. So what's the din? It's a shkunas kvaris. Only the three that they found, that's a cemetery, but no, nothing more. So for my time, why aren't we worried that there's going to be more graves around again? Amrishlokish ilamatz of the tiaras. It's a special kula, even though there's raglai in ledover, and there you certainly could find. You don't have to worry anymore if they check one place twenty amis. There's no other way. You know you don't have to check anymore. And they when, include when, the whole area at all. When Moshe Zak al Shom was nifter, my wife, I went into the house to clean up, and we cut up the rug. We had to save the rug where he was killed because it it contained a lot of his blood. And they buried that together with the mace, the mm -hmm. rug when he was shot. I don't know if you remember, but uh, it was he was killed in the house, and he got all you know, all the rug. So we cut up that rug. It was about maybe a few, a few, a few feet of the rug that we put in the bag, and they took that together with the mace. I never forget. Mm -hmm. It's about forty-five years ago. I remember. What do you mean? <laughs> I was supposed to go out with Susie on my first date with her and she had to cancel because Ben Lax was very close to Moshe Zach. Yeah, he sure, he sure was, yeah. That day or something and 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 she she put it off. Because it was, of why was he killed? It was, it was Friday night. They came in, a robber came in, I don't know what happened. They killed him, they shot him with a gun and he, he died and she was pregnant at the time with the youngest and then that they didn't touch the children. No, no one knows till today what happened or who did it. And uh, of course, it was a big tragedy. It was 45 years ago. Wow. And, uh, the, and they, you know, she Here was in the, the neighborhood? Yeah. yeah, it was on Citrus. On Citrus. On, yeah. on Citrus, yeah. I, 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 ben I, I, ben I, Lax I, was very close with Moshe Zach, very yeah. close. He was Because he was from Mexico. Right. He had he, connection yeah. from Mexico. They yeah. were very yeah. close. They were very yeah. close. It so we, my wife and I went in to clean up and we had to cut up the rug and we put it in a bag and they took that and they buried together with the bag. But base. the Hebra Kadisha sent you and your wife in? We, we volunteered to go in because we I was close to Moshe also. So we, and, uh, that's what happened. We were davened by Rabbi Reuben at the time and we came in Shabbos morning and that's what we heard. He did. It was Friday night when they came in. And they, they shot. They somebody came in. I think till this day they never found out who did it. It was I don't know for whatever reason they didn't touch her or the children. There was two children, and she was pregnant with a third child. I remember never awful. forget that. It was awful. It was awful. He was a, a wonderful man. I don't know. I don't know if you ever knew him, but he was uh, he was really a wonderful man. It was very. Ben was one of his closest confidants. Ben Correct. was very close. I know. Correct. It's a, yeah. Okay. I, I, I happened to be on the plane. He, he when Nebuch, he passed away. He passed away on Gimel. Um, Friday night. It was a Gimel Friday Tamos, night. Gimel Tamos. It's Gimel Tamos. The same as the, the Babich was Gimel Tamos. And on and, and the Wednesday night, he was on the plane with me back from New York. I sat with him all the way back from New York and I brought him home on Wednesday night. He, when I first came to Los Angeles, he, I met him the first Shabbos I was here and we became best of friends. He, he helped me when I first started over here. So, uh, um, okay. Let's, uh, okay, but I mean, it, well, the reason to talk is because of, yeah, because of every, every, everything was related to the, to right, the body. Right, right, the mace. Yeah, so, so, 
I, I never heard of that, that you take the, the that, I would say. We did. We yeah, it's the, like your story, Walter, with the guy's leg. It's the same thing. Well, the blood is part of the blood is yeah. part of the body. If he can salvage, well, it, you, you know? see, when you move a maze, you yeah. need to take the dirt around him, around him, because right. yeah. some of the blood seeped into the dirt. Right, you have yeah. to go with the maze. That's exactly right. what. Like you sometimes do. you have to bury people with the bandages on them and all that stuff, because if it's soaked in blood. Yeah. By the way, there's a chok. There's a chok in Eretz Yisrael, so. Um, Anybody who was in the army doesn't know, matter what they were, and and basically they died, right? Whatever, however they died during whatever in anything in the um, in the army, um, they have to bury you in a coffin. They don't allow you to bury in Tachrichim in Eretz Israel the, the soldiers. Nobody's allowed. Low, low plug. Okay. It's actually easier now that I'm in the Parsha um, because I might father and grandmother's buried in Los Angeles. We're exploring moving them. It's actually much easier to move from Chutzlaretz to Israel because people are buried in coffins in Chutzlaretz. And when Steve, you have a coffin- Steve Fetter moved his father to Eretz Israel. And when you have a coffin, oftentimes the coffin is made of some material that doesn't disintegrate completely if it's pure wood but apparently they mix it with something so they know this so it doesn't disintegrate completely so they know whatever's inside the coffin is the mace if the wood disintegrates so then completely then you have the same issue that you know it why don't people get you get buried in a pine box in america i know but someone told me that the, the that wood is impregnated maybe with something that it, therefore it doesn't disintegrate or something as easy but your as father's that. 50 years already though 55 so uh, you, you think everything is still intact chances are it's not intact but someone took my father had a, a number on his arm he was an auschwitz survivor so someone said avada your father is still intact wow. the <laughs> rebbe said wow. when the rebbe left eretz Yisrael, and they said how can you leave us who Who's going to give us bracha? So the Satan Rebbe said, find a Jew that is still from and has a, a number on his arm and go get, get a bracha from that person. Wow, wow. That's Everybody the name that. of the Satan Rebbe. Uh, so we are, we're not sure yet. I've gotten conflicting advice. Some say yes, some say no, whatever. We're still in that partial. Mishnah. Listen, we have an, uh, we're having an unveiling of my mother's Matseva Yom Atzmod. When we're going, we're going to Israel after Pesach for Yom Atzmod, and that's when we're going to do the unveiling. So then we'll figure it out. That we have, you know, there's spots there. Mishnah. Kosovik Nagoim Batchila Tohor. Meaning, a person has a nega. They have a rash. We don't know yet what it is. The Koyan hasn't declared that it's Tommy yet. So it remains Tor. Ajlo Nizka Klutuma. Until a Koyan declares that it's Tommy. Now Misha Nizka Klutuma Sveko Tommy. Now, once it's been declared Tommy, and then let's say it's healing. And now it's a suffix. Is it tummy or not? Now we go suffix with tumma, because the chazaka now is at its tumma. Now, where is this makor in the Torah? Menonimi. It says, Zos taras negetzeras, letaro o letamu. Oilu posach ba kazabitara tchila. You notice it doesn't say letamo or letaro. It starts off letaro letamo. That teaches me that we keep suffix tor until we're sure what it is. Yachi, hi, you're giving primacy to the fact that the Torah opened up with the word tor. I feel the tor. So even though, even after the koyeng has declared that it's tomate now. 
it's a suffix. Maybe the suffix still should be Torah. Tor. Ela ki itma dravi amarav. Aha itma. So rather, this statement of Yudam Arav goes on the following. That in Baharis Kadma Laseyer Lava, you have the white lesion. And the lesion showed up before the white hair. So that's tummy, because that's what the Torah says. And in Seyar Lovan, Kodim Lubaheres, if there's a white hair there and then the lesion, Toho. What if we don't know which was there first? It's a suffix. So the din is Tome. The Tanakama holds it's Tome. But Rabbi Yeshua Omar Kiha, Ma Kiha, Omiru Kiha Vator. So Machloik is Tanoim, whether if you're not sure, it hasn't been declared Tome yet. And we don't know whether the white hair was there first or the lesion was there first. So the Tanakhama says Tome, Rabbi Shua says Tome. And Rabbi Marav is because it's Trila. It's, it's because nobody has declared that it's fully Tome yet. Right, more of a Dilma of a Tome. Who says Kea means Tor? Maybe it's Tome. Before something is declared Toma, if it's a suffix, we lean leniently and say that it's Tor. Mishnah. So the din is that a male who sees a seminal emission. And it's not the same seminal emission as Sheikh Wazera. It, it had a different character. It was thicker, whatever it was. Maybe it was a gonococcal infection. So, it, you know, there's pus. And if the man had it two times in one day, so then he's a Zav. Once he sees it a third time, He's a Zav, but he has to also bring Korbonis when he finishes his seven days of counting. He has to bring it on the eighth day. Now, Beshiva Drachim Boitkin Niska These first Reios that a Zav has, until it's still in doubt whether he's Tome with Zivus, we can ask him diagnostic questions that may be something that he experienced caused this. For example, the Michael of Amishta, he ate too much, he drank too much. The Masa, he carried something heavy. Big Fitza, he jumped. Or the he was sick. The Mare, he saw something stimulate. Be here, whore. He was thinking about a woman. So these are reasons in the first two where if you find that there was a exacerbating factor that may have brought these things on, then you don't have to declare them as off. You can rely on these things. Oh, no, it's because of these things that it occurred. That's in the first two. Once Mishniska Kleziva, once you see two, once you have two, you're a Zav. You have to count seven clean days. You might not have to bring Korbonis unless you see three, but you certainly a Zav. So, one, so the first one, you can blame it on one of these things. Once you see two, you, the third one, you cannot, you have to accept even machmas oinus. Ain't boyd can oisoy anymore. And any emission that he sees, he's going to be a muhzik as a tummy. And he'd have to bring korbonis. So even oinsoy, meaning he was sick or sveiko, or we're not sure what it is, 
even if it's a Balkari, it's Sheikh Mazera. Tmeyin. Because Raglayim Ladovri. He has already established himself with the two emissions. He's prone to this. So we're not going to rely on that there's another reason that caused it. It's the Zivus that's causing it. Then another interesting halacha. Hamakes Chavero, a person struck his friend. The Andu Misa, the doctors came and said, this guy's going to die from this, from this hit that the friend did. And remember, if someone warned that guy, you know, don't hit this guy. If he dies, uh, you're going to be a murderer. And so there's Hasra there. And the doctors say he's going to die. Then he gets better. And they said he's not going to die from this blow. And then a day later, the guy is going to be a murderer. The Torah says, So if he says to days, and he dies the third day. But I'm not he, saying uh, this is not related. Could be a week went by. So the so the, the Torah says not specifically. Yom yom not it, this is this din is not referencing Yoma Yomayim. It's referencing the doctor said he's not going to die. It's this is not a fatal wound. It's not a fatal injury. And then two days later he dies. So the Tanakama holds the guy's chayv as a rotzei. But Rav Nechemi Oimer Potter, Shiraglai Ladover, that he was getting better. And now he got a pulmonary embolus. Now he died from something else. He didn't die directly from the blow that the guy did. And therefore, he's not a Rotsea. Menon Emili. So, first, where do we know that you can be Boydek the Zav in the first two Rios? But once he's tame with this with the second, there's you, there's no bedik anymore. Amr Rav Nachman Krof the Azav is zovo la zachar v'lan keva. So the reiyah shlishes is kish l'ne keva. So the third re is compared to being a female. Now. When a, when a woman bleeds three days in a row during her 11 days of zivus, in the Torah world, a woman had seven days of nidus followed by 11 days of zivus. If she bled during her seven days of nidus, as long as she stopped bleeding, even an hour before the, the end of the seventh day, she could go to the mikvah and have relations with her husband that night. We don't do that. We assume anytime you see a woman sees blood, she could be a Zava Gedola. And a Zava Gedola has to count Zion the Kian. And so, so that's all rabbinic, Xerus. Uh, but Mitor a lot. Now then, the woman enters in the 11 days of period called Zivus period. If she bleeds three days in a row, she becomes a Zava Gedola. Now, that blood, we, it doesn't make a difference in a woman whether it's oinus or not oinus. What did she drink? Did she eat? Did she jump? Did she was she sick? By a woman, it, 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 there's no tour of oinus. She's always going to be tummy. So once the heckish for the male is once he's muzik as, as in tuma, we don't check him anymore. Machvas oinus. I vatan Rabbi Yezer Oimer b'shlishi is boykinosoi and brevius ain boykinosoi. Rabbi Lazar holds that you, you, it's in the third time you can still check it. So the Machloikah says Be'esim. When it says Hazav Es Zovo. Come here, Fugit. Rabbi Lazar Dorash Esim. So Hazav Es Zovo, so that's three times. So he is allowed to be have B'dika even up to three times.
Rabbonalodarshi essence. They have only two types. Okay. What is the what is the first part of the mission have to do with the there's absolutely no connection between the Rasha and the Seifa? It's completely foreign to each other. Yeah, yeah, it is. The Raglayim Ladover. Because we started off the whole sugya with once he's Tome, there's Raglayim Ladover that what he has is Tuma. I That's see. why he continues Raglayim Ladover by the the Makis. Oh. Okay. Yeah, right. I see. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Very good. So tomorrow, seven thirty. Okay. Good. 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 Good.